Welcome to Functional Horsemanship. And this is a real hot day today. It's about 98 degrees, so I'm going to make this kind of short if I can. I'm going to continue the knot tying series uh, with the timber hitch. The timber hitch. T-I-M-B-E-R hitch. It's a knot used uh, uh, for dragging ropes, and, or I mean for dragging logs with the rope, uh, or railroad ties, uh, anything like that. Now, I'm using a piece of half inch, uh, 25 foot long half inch repelling rope, or what they call a yacht line. And I could use uh, my repelling rope and use that uh, that Honda on there. It would keep that rope from slipping, but I don't want to tear a good rope up. So all I'm going to do is take this rope and loop it around the log I want to drag so it looks like this. Junior, you need to cooperate and come back here. Come on. You're a little concerned about this log? Then all I'm going to do is wrap The end of the rope around the other or other piece, the anchor piece, and just start feeding it through like this. I want at least three wraps on there, so when I put tension on this, that knot cinches down, just like that. Again, it'll look like this. The good thing about this knot is you're not really making any hard knots to get out of in your rope, so it helps save some rope as well. So again, I'm going to loop it around the object that I want to drag, loop it around my anchor into the rope, and just feed that rope back around itself at least three times. So when I tighten this rope up, those knots keep that rope from slipping. If I'm going to drag this rope on horseback, or drag this log on horseback, I'm going to take my anchor line and I'm going to S-roll it like this and get it kind of taut so when I climb up in the saddle I don't have a bunch of rope for my horse to get tangled up on. So I match that rope up with my reins if I want to drag from my other side simply a matter of moving that rope on the other side of the horse Positioning my horse up, drag this slog here, now if I'm doing this with a horse for the first time, uh, it may spook him having something chase him, that's what he feels uh, that log may be. So what I'm going to do is dally that around my horn so I can easily get rid of it. I'm going to use a leg cue on my horse, turn him around to face this log. So we can see that log moving as he backs up. You see he gets a little concerned on him. Then I can turn him in the direction I want to move and drag that log. If I get in any trouble here, horse gets spooked or anything else, all I got to do is pull up on this rope and drop it. But that's why I keep it S-rolled so I don't have to wrap around my hand. So again, dally around the horn. I could dally around two times or just once to hold some pressure. Position my horse up, back him up. Turn in the direction I want to move and get to where I'm going, toting this log. Again, the timber hitch. I hope you can find a use for it and you have a safe journey.